Seite. A Superstar. Wow. On the table, it is all about Super Mario from Jack's Pacific, formerly World of Nintendo figures. Looks like we finally have a card graphics update. For years, these went by Series 1-1, 1-2, 2-4. Really strange in how that was organized. I believe, though, now we have just settled down on Wave 14. And, of course, Mario's back. And Luigi is here. We have the piranha plant that sold the series. And more turtles, we have a fire bro. And also very exciting to see, para bones. I always thought it was dry bones. Is it the same? I have to relook that up. Anyhow, five new figures for wave 14, or I guess maybe 3-2? Hard to say now. I'm really confused and a little bit behind on these figures. Let's open some up. I had to start with the piranha plant. I'm so excited it finally got a full-scale figure. We've already seen a few piranha plants in the two and a half inch line, but nothing larger with possibly maybe some articulation. On the back of the boxes, new lively car designs as well, and some bio to read. Piranha plant with question block. Though Mario encounters numerous dangerous enemies in his adventures, the carnivorous piranha plant is a common sight no matter where he travels. Quick little demonstration on some of the articulation, they used to tell you how many points, though. And of course, other available characters in this wave. Let's chomp this one out of the pack. Alright, let's be careful. Piranha plant out of the pack. So good to see a larger scaled plant. Pretty colorfully designed in that main flower piece. Sharp. Articulation-wise, the flower should rotate a bit. A full 360, try not to get confused which end is up. And of course the plant can close its mouth ever so tightly. Does not look like you could get the plant though to reach his head up into the sky. Looks like it's angled pointed forward at all times. It would have been nice to be able to hinge him upward. According to the box there's one more point of articulation and it seems kind of senseless. It's uh, somewhere in the pot. And this rotates. I suppose if you're doing some sort of stop motion and you have that pipe embedded onto the ground, that way you could rotate your plant back and forth. Kind of weird on that, but there you go. Would have been nice to see maybe added hinges on the leaves as well. Overall though, compared to all the other figures of the collection, pretty well done. We also have a question block included. Remember back in the day when things like that were hidden? So that's the piranha plant. I'm excited about it. Oh dear! I mean, what? Oh no, Landry! What's happened here? What's happened here? Whoop. Oh, Barry, not you too. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, whoa! Delicious plant. How am I gonna get that out of him? Well, let's move on to the star of the show, of course, Mario with Superstar. Mario presented on the back of the card. Seems like we may have seen this one before. We'll have to take a closer look. Mario with Superstar. Not only does Mario manage to save the day every time Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach, he is also a talented kart racer, ace tennis player, skilled soccer star, preeminent golf pro, and even a part-time doctor. I like how they include all his other roles. There's some articulation options. Let's bounce him out of the pack. Mario outside of the pack standing wide with hands and fists and his superstar. This Mario design quite common with the Jack specific line. We've seen him several times in many different ways. It is good they've included him many times over the years, giving everyone an opportunity to pick up a Mario. So I'm trying to figure out if there's anything really different with this Mario. I'm getting some of my Mario figures confused after so many waves and series. I believe this one is the first series 1-1 Mario who had an open mouth with fists. A year or so later, for Series 2-4, we had a Mario with open hands. His mouth was closed. So it kind of looks like they took the closed fists Mario of the first wave and matched him up with the closed mouth Mario of later waves and merged him together for Wave 14. Although Wave 14's hat looks a little more shiny today. If there's difference in there, it's subtle and I'm surely gonna get these mixed up over time. 
Articulation on this Mario has always been a little bit above average. I know there's more deluxe Mario figures out there, but this one does the job pretty well. We have head rotation. Gets a little tight because of his neck. There's shoulders that you can move about on hinges. Looks like his fists are on rotation. We've got hips and knees. I think you could do plenty of things with this Mario. For the price point that he is offered for, pretty good deal. And of course, our superstar. Nice little plastic figurine. Let's hop on over to some of my favorite characters of this series, the Koopa. We have a fire bro, fire brother. It has taken several years, several series, but we get more and more turtles every time. I like how it looks like Mario is kicking him in on the head. On the back of the card, fire bro with fireball, of course. Hot, hot, hot. Fire brothers can really put the heat on Mario if he's not being careful. These hot-headed Koopas can throw fireballs, just like Mario, with a fire flower. These guys are always trouble in the game. Not so bad as Hammer Brothers, though, in my opinion. And some articulation there. And let's burn off the card. And here is our Fire Bro out of the pack. Looking good so far, although really odd how they placed the fireball onto a stick. Feels almost more like a lollipop or something. Who puts toys on sticks? That's so stupid. Yeah, that's really obvious. You can totally see that stick. I guess maybe if they could have made it clear. It's kind of an odd effect, but I still really like having a fire brother. Looks like there wasn't too much creative design with it either. As here is our hammer brother. Looks like a basic repaint with a different accessory, but it pulls off well. I'm happy about it. Articulation on these guys, pretty well done too. We have head rotation and we have to be careful. We have shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, and it looks like rotation on the knee, not really a bend, but rotation. Of course I said be careful on that head rotation, as we all probably recall. My poor Koopa Paratroopa, with the unattachable head feature. Luckily about a few series later they released a red shell turtle that I could at least have his head on straight. So be careful with that neck joint. Overall, really good to see a Fire Brother. Let's take a look at Luigi next. Fire Luigi with Fire Flower. When I found on store shelf, I wasn't really sure if this figure was released before, if they had switched the fists or headpiece on him. We will have to find out if he's like Mario. Fire Luigi with Fire Flower. Armed with fireballs, this usually shy and timid Mario bro is ready to step out of Mario's shadow and set off on his own adventures. Kind of an interesting way of putting it. Articulation for a Luigi. And let's second player Luigi out of pack. Luigi out of the pack. I always like how Fire Luigi looks. The white and the green looks terrific. Again, this Luigi with fists. And it looks like we've seen this Luigi before. Fire Luigi from Series 1-4, pretty much looking the same here. Open mouth and about the same articulation. Maybe the only differences I'm seeing right now is slightly different paintwork on the glossy scale. And maybe just maybe my original Luigi's hat was on just slightly crooked. They're pretty close though. But since Series 1-4 was quite a long time ago, this is a great opportunity to pick up a Fire Luigi. I'm sure I could find something useful for an extra one. And speaking extra, I think I have at least three Fire Flowers now. Again, if you recall, these used to be kind of hidden mysteries inside each pack. Fire Flowers are hot though, I wouldn't mind having a few extra. And to recap Luigi's articulation, head rotation, shoulders, Elbows, fists, hips, and knees. Really similar to Mario, just enough for really good play, and stands and balances pretty well. The last figure of the wave, Parabones. Parabones with wings. Parabones are the reanimated bones of paratroopas, often found in the castles of Bowser or haunted mansions of the Mushroom Kingdom. So would dry bones be the non-para flyers? And of course some points of articulation. Let's undead this one out of pack.
pair of bones out of the pack, and this is one very exceptional world of Nintendo Super Mario Bros. figure. Very well done on this one. Pair of bones even has an opening and closing mouth. You could probably fit something of small importance in there. Similar to the other paratroopas, wings on the back, probably a very similar body style. About the same in size, probably mostly repainted parts again. Obviously, for articulation, we want to be very careful with the neck. This one moves nice. There is a hinge to look up and down, but I'm not going to chance it. Shoulders. Rotation on the elbows and wrists. And feet. Rotation by the shoes. And the wings are on ball joints. You can move them about, or you can take them off and use him as a ground trooper. Parabone's a very welcome character to this wave. And here are the Super Mario toys we saw today for Wave 14. Overall, I would say a pretty worthy wave. It's kind of a nice soft reboot of the brand, giving you an opportunity to pick up a basic Mario and a Fire Luigi. A piranha plant has been asking, and two Koopas to mix things up a bit also helps out. A very balanced wave of fun. Uh, you can call being plant food fun. Uh. Super Mario Jack's Pacific Wave 14 arrives on store shelves February 2019. Figures running approximately $8.99 a piece. If you are a big fan of Super Mario and need a Mario figure start, this is the collection to look for. A good figure for a price point, a wide selection of characters, and a lot of plant chomping fun. Just be careful if your fire brother has his fireball on his stick, he doesn't eat it like a lollipop. That's supposed to shoot at Mario. That's what I have to say about that. Piranha plants and squirrels don't get along too well. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe.